the Shadow Shea offense. His alignment numbers. In line, so that's right off the tackle, 20.6% of his snaps were in line. And that's where most tight ends spend most of their time. In the, in, uh, out wide, so the, like all the way out on the boundary, 21.4%. He was out wide more than he was traditionally in line like a tight end. But the big number in the slot, 56.8% of the time, he was lined up in the slot over those three years. I think he's a big slot receiver, and I think that might be how they view him. And there's other quotes in here. I know we're kind of up against it, so I won't get to all of it. But throughout the years, Bill has talked about what a nightmare matchup Mike Gesicki is because you don't know when they break the huddle, are they in 11? Are they in 12? Do we need an extra defensive back? Do we need an extra corner? Do we need an extra safety? Who are we putting on him? And they're going to be able to do some of that stuff with Mike Gesicki where just uh, – uh, the packages they use, the personnel they use, they are going to have defenses guessing before they break the huddle. And that, to me, is the most exciting part about the signing. And then what he brings in the red zone. Do, do you remember last year, it's, it, one thing I do worry about, and I don't know if this will happen under Bill O'Brien, but you know, who, was, who was the uh, – who, who, who did little George Humphrey come in for? Uh, who did he replace? Hunter Henry. Hunter Henry. They had him as like the – so that was my guy, Alex Barth, on the Mike Isicki signing, um, partly on the Mike Isicki signing anyway. So I've been thinking about what's been my favorite free agency signing. Some say Juju Smith-Schuster, some say Calvin Anderson, and those guys are really good signings, you know, O-line, wide receiver. Mike Isicki, though, like Alex said, he had you know, five touchdowns last year. Um, I forget the yardage. I'd have to look that up. But And that was in a Mike McDaniel offense, so he was in the doghouse. So he played quite well for the time he was given last year. So I think our top signing is Mike Isicki. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. Um, and... I'll talk to you soon. The draft's coming up in a month. Oy, a little over a month, but I'm getting psyched. But let me know what you think on the Mike Isicki signing, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.